Hello and welcome to this lecture. In the previous lecture, we just completed our main loop and we just started drawing the board. So when I save and run it again, then you could see continuous loop of our board here is we have no any control in order to just remove this loop or just stop this loop. So what if we want to test our board for now, then we'll just remove this while loop for now and we'll just make this board appear over here so let's make it down here and just go it here and draw the board over here so if you just do this then you could see our board will be perfectly laid out so you could see over here it is saying welcome to tic tac toy and 789456 and 123 has been printed so next thing what you're going to do here is is we'll just roll back to our previous code that is with this loop so now first thing we have to just define another function couple of function in order to make a player to select which letter it wants to play with so in order to make a player to choose what it letter it wants to play with let me just go down here after this draw board and after this draw board and let's define the another function to perform that so let's say player later first so input player later this is the function which will basically let the player type which letter they wants to be and it will return a list with a player letter as a first item and computer letter as a second item so i'll just make a letter over here that is a string and i'll say while not while not and this letter is equal equal x or letter equal equal o so let's define o here and if it is the case then what you're gonna do will say print that is do you want to be x or o x or o this is the message that can be given to the user while playing and we should now get the input so we'll say letter should be inputted from the user by this input function and it should be converted to uppercase with this upper function now it's time to check the letter so let's go down here and i'll say if letter if the letter that is selected by the user is x then what you're gonna do is we'll just return a list over here so it will return a list in the form of the player that is selected by the user and the player which is the computer based on the selection of the user so if the letter that is selected by the user will be x then the computer will be o and it will return a list over here else it will also make a list that contains o as in player letter and x as in computer letter so this will be the function that will basically input the player letter and it will just return a list based on that selection made by the user so next function that we are interested in is the who goes first so we'll just define this who goes first it is basically the main person who goes playing the tic tac toy game first so it should be random so it shouldn't be biased only for the user it should be also given to the computer so it should be random so we'll just make uh, randomly choose the player who goes first so i'll say random that we have imported this module at the beginning and i'll say randint and in this randint i'll just pass 0 and 1 and if is equal equal o so if it is o that means it is a computer chance so just return me computer else it should be the player so i'll just say if it is not equal o if it is one that means it should be player chance to go first so we have just defined this two method which is basically to check the player which goes first and to input the player later and now it's time to just call this function from the main so let's go over here and i'll say first is a player later so it is player later 
and computer letter computer letter and it is basically our input player letter method so in this input player method basically returns us a list if you see here it will return a list and it should be in the form of either player letter and a computer letter so yeah if it returns this then it will be the player letter and it will be the computer letter and it will be stored in this respective variable so next thing is to just call this who goes first and let's make this variable is a ton and it will just say who goes first over here let me say first and let's close this let me just check it once and it is who goes first and next is to just print now that is based on this turn so I'll just say the first and let's format or concatenate with this turn and I'll say will go first let's close this down and this is basically the turn so turn can be either the computer or the player and based on that it will just format this string that is the turn will go first if it is the computer then the computer will go first and it should be random which is defined by this function so let's save this first now and let's check the code first so let's save this and click the f5 and it is saying do you want to be yux or o so if i say yux then it will say the player will go first and let's go back again here and let's give the space over here and let's save this down again and press f5 and it is saying yux or o then i'll just say o and it is saying the player will go first this should be random obviously and it is again saying yux or o then if i say yux again the computer will go first this will be random again and this is the basically due to this two method which is our method which is here who goes first and input player method so in the next lecture i will just make a gameplay for the user so see you in the next